All right, so here they want to know which gra graph here <laughs> represents a function, and uh, we can solve it quickly, but I want to talk a little bit about why our algorithm works. All we have to do in each of these cases is draw a vertical line so that it crosses your function more than once. If you can do that anywhere, like here, I can draw this line, and the function is this curve, draw a line straight up and down, it crosses it twice, it's not a function. Same thing is true here. And the same thing is true everywhere on this function because it is a vertical line itself. So I'll just go back and highlight those points. Right here, crossed twice. Let me just change colors here. Okay, so it crosses here and here. Right, these two points. So it's not a vertical, uh, not a function. It crosses twice here and it crosses an infinite amount of times, in other words, everywhere here. And any time the vertical line crosses your function more than once, it's not a function. And here, in this one, there is no place where you can you can imagine if we extend it, but um, here there is no place to draw a vertical line that would cross this shape twice. It only crosses it once wherever you draw it. You can draw it here, right, on the negative side. Oops, well, fix this so it's vertical. And then really anywhere else along it, what's going to happen is always going to cross once. Now, why does this work? Like, why would this vertical line test work? Why do you only want to cross the, the graph once? Well, if you take, take a look at graph 3 for a moment, what we have here is a circle. And the rule of a function is that if you have an input, you must get exactly one output, right? That's what a function tells you. Now, an input must get exactly one output. So here, I have a point zero, 0,1, let's say this is zero, 0,1, it could be zero anything, but I'll assume it's 1, because here, it's a circle, right, the same radius from both sides, what is this point going to be? Well, if this one is zero, 0,1, the other one, the opposite is zero, negative 1, right? And already, here, if I draw a vertical line through the circle here, it would cross these two points twice, and that's a problem, because these two points have the same x value. They both have zero for an x value. And that's why we draw vertical lines, because on a vertical line, all the points have the same x value of the same input. And also, all the points on the vertical line have different y values, right? Or different outputs. So what you have here is one number is zero with two outputs, one and negative one. When this happens, you know you don't have a function. So the vertical line test, right, quickly allows you to identify if there are two outputs for one input. Because if your vertical line crosses a function twice, you've crossed two points with the same input and two different outputs. So it's a quick test, and it works, and there's some of the basic logic behind it. Thanks.